Hi Sagittarius, welcome. Golden Empress Collection here and let's get to the bottom of your July. Welcome. If you guys are new, welcome back. If you are returning, thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, subscribes, and the support that you guys bring to this channel. It's definitely appreciated. And we've been here for years, so make sure that you guys go out there and check out that description box uh, down below because there's a lot of different information that will uh, come your way. Some you guys might be having somebody spying on you because that page sword just came out. Somebody could be spying on you. I don't think that you're really necessarily worried about that. Maybe somebody's watching, uh, just just looking at how you handle business here. You know, we are going to talk about a love, a money, and a career aspect. Mm -hmm, look at that! I told you, Ace of Pentacles in the Moon. Mm, okay, so this is contracts, right? Everything it is that you have going on right now, especially with that full moon energy getting ready to come forward, full moon in Capricorn, as a matter of fact, it's going to be leading into something that is bringing out the truth. If there was any sort of soul contract around you that was deceptive, it will no longer be deceptive. You have a blessing coming is what I feel. Yes. Okay. I think you've been waiting patiently. You've done the work. If you invested in a manner um, that was of positive nature, then this is a repayment of some sort. This is a blessing for you with this karmic energy and Saturn that's here. Some of you guys, I want to hope and I want to say that the communication that comes in will actually keep you very level uh, and very grounded. Okay. Don't sit here and try to manifest something that's not supposed to be there. You know, definitely, right? Don't manifest something that's not supposed to be there in the terms of harshness. You have such a blessing coming forward. I told you, it's going to be everything that, ever, that it is that you wanted. And I don't want you to, to doubt, right? I don't want you to doubt because look at all these major arcana that are coming out. You have an ace of pentacles, the king of wands, the ten of pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups, the Justice, and the Hero font for your July energy, along with the Star card. You are a healer, and everything it is that you are going through right now is meant to bring you in healing as well. This is a karmic energy of, like I said, if you have done the work for yourself in regards to love, everything it is that you want shall now come forward. Some of you guys, this is an offer of a relationship. This is an offer of someone who wants to be around you full heartedly, wholeheartedly. Okay. This person maybe has watched you many times. You finally crossed their path. Whatever this is for you in regards to love, you do not see it coming with this moon card. But again, it is a manifestation of someone very, very powerful. It is a manifestation of someone who wants life and happiness and good things to come to them. So Sagittarius, whether or not you are sitting in a masculine energy, you are taking charge of your situation. Many people are trying to figure out how you get this stuff done. And they are like, you might even be one of those success stories is what this feels like in regards to love. Okay. When we're talking about commitment and all of the different things, it's, it's like your time to shine. And it's a good thing that you have allowed this positivity to come through. So again, depending on what it is that you have been manifesting, you're going to have to look at it from a different perspective. That's what I feel with this moon card. This moon card, is it, there is some shade to this moon card. But for the most part, the only shade that I see is with this moon card. Right? Full moon. You do have Mars going into Virgo around the 10th. The 10th is actually going to be quite a trip. Because... The, the, just pay attention to it. You want all of this positive energy to come through for you. So remember what happens with this shade. Okay. Could be in regards to working on yourself. Could be in regards to the reality of your situation. It could be in regards to, I'm going to say the gig, you know, just working something out. Yeah. And then as you move through the 14th, whatever this blessing is that, you know, you just, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's deceit or what. Let's see what it is. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Mm, it's a masculine here. But you have the Ten of Wands and you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles here twice. So you've known this person before. You definitely have a soul past life conf. I was going to say conflict, but for all of you, it's not conflict. Okay. Some of you guys, it's just an energy of you sense that this person is supposed to be around you. There's a spiritual connection between the two of you. 
Somebody doesn't want to take responsibility for the financial obligation that they have towards you. That's what I feel. Um, so again, it could be in regards to the reality of a situation, but I feel like you're going to be able to make it work. You're going to be able to make do with it because spirit actually has your back. It's going to happen that way for a reason because you're only supposed to give so much like in a percentage wise to whatever this is, right? You're supposed to compartmentalize this. Just don't overdo it. Just don't overdo it. Taurus energy with Libra here. You have to let other people pull their weight is also what I'm thinking. See? Okay. King of Wands. I just saw the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So there's definitely other people that are involved here. You could be dealing with a Taurus. There could also be a Libra. Um, you could also have a Cancer here, or this is just the overwhelming feeling that you know that something is really, really working out in your favor. I do want you to know that for some of you, if you are a masculine here, there, there's someone who's kind of emotionally imbalanced. I don't think that they necessarily give to the situation that they say that they do. And all of that is going to be coming out. There might even be some sort of reconciliation or some sort of understanding of truth of values and how things are supposed to move forward. Um, you're just, I, I just see movement forward with this clarity of a situation because the universe needs something either better for you with this moon energy here, but the seeds that are planted with the full, well, actually we're gonna clear out with the full moon, right? going to make you feel so much better especially if you guys you know just on a general level have someone who is being deceptive someone who tries to be very aggressive with you someone who um is is deliberately keeping you single for some of you my Sagittarius my beautiful beautiful Sagittarius deliberately keeping you single um I, it's just it's an emotional instability here you know I, I really want somebody to work on their truth you know, what is it that's truly going to make somebody happy? And don't accept anything less than that. Don't accept any sort of maybe from a situation or someone um, or yourself for that matter. Don't settle for maybes. Settle for the truth. Settle for the things that make you feel better, right? Settle for what you know to be true. Some of you guys, I'm seeing mantra exercises here as well. Definitely. All right. So you also I'm just going to say this you have somebody spying on you somebody that wants to talk to you I don't know why but there's someone here could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio that's a little on the twisted side they have something to do where they want something to do with your money because there's two sets of money here or there's two different families here and there might be a conversation that comes in about the fact that there are two separate families here and some sort of action that needs to be taken to bring these two families together some yeah definitely I see a merge of two families here. That's very interesting. Could have a Cancer or a Libra. Um, I'm definitely seeing Ten of Pentacles here a couple of times. So go ahead and go with that Virgo energy. I would say that you have an Aries involved, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you all need to learn to work together with that uh, Virgo energy that we see sitting here. You know, it's kind of like... I'm almost seeing, especially if this is in business relationship or if it's with your money, there's a venture here where multiple people are supposed to be coming together. And once this conversation, you know, is hashed out and, um, you know, the deception is, is understood, like somebody has thrown a monkey wrench into whatever this is. That's what this feels like with this. Maybe somebody jumped the gun with this page of swords and they said something that was not true that possibly made someone feel a different way, made somebody delay or stall. And you will have the opportunity to clear out whatever that injustice is, right? There will be a truth that comes about with that. And, you know, it's, it's for some of you guys, you're like, okay, I, I get my day in court. Thank you is what I'm hearing for some of you, because not only do you get your day in court, this will actually, this is your birthright for some of you guys. This is when you finally get your due justice. You know, you get that 10 acres in a mule, you get that uh, repayment. You get those beautiful paintings back after, you know, the, the persecution that your family had to go through many, many years ago. You know, there's some sort of payback system here because you have carried on a legacy and done something 
Mm, that even though others try to falsify your character or do something against you, you step into beauty, you step into abundance. And I told I'm telling you, people are looking at you, Sagittarius, like, how did she do that? How did he do that? You know, the perfect wife, the perfect husband, the perfect house, like everything's going very well for you in the month of July. Everything just falls in line. Okay. Again, you might have one or two people that try to deceive you, but you're just not dealing with that. You're going to be dealing with balanced energy. You're going to be dealing with the happiness and success of a new relationship that is fair. It's abundant. It's blessed. It treats you right. You treat them right. Yes, happiness coming through here, okay? Some of you guys, if this is the life that you were living and you feel like it was all a sham, there's some sort of message that's getting ready to come out. Some of you guys might get that little card in the mail that says that you, uh, somebody's masculine needs to go take a test here to see if maybe they're the daddy in some sort of court situation. If that is the case, yes, they are going to have to come claim with you that they did this type of thing. You know, they might be the daddy, but I don't think that they are. Okay. I, I think that this is someone that they slept with that slept with multiple people. And I think that they were just one of them. So it is what it is. I'm not sure how you're handling that, but I do know that if that's what happened to you in your situation, you're not going to deal with that. You're going to cut this person off. Okay. You're not about to sit up here and deal with somebody if it's just a sexual relationship. You feel that the person that you're with should work a little bit harder to be with you, to make it a marriage, to make it a commitment and not just some fly by the seat of your pants type of thing. You have exposed some sort of truth here as well, especially if there's someone here that did not want to truly, truly invest in you. And I think that's possibly the best thing you've ever done for yourself, especially if you really accept the reality again of the situation you know, and who cares if this person is watching you spying on you and doing whatever? Who cares? Let them do that, right? You get to shine. Look, you, I told you, you're moving, you're blessed. This person might be hurt, but that's because they did that to themselves. You stay in positivity, you know? And if this is triggering you and you don't feel like you've done the best that you can possibly do to obtain the universe's blessing like this, <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm just going to have to tell you to put your boundaries up some more. If you feel like you're slipping, you're failing, and you know, someone's trying to come in here and karmically steal your blessings, put your boundaries up, protect yourself on a regular basis, right? It's how it's up to you, what you allow to be projected upon you. It's up to you to figure out how, you know, your July is going to go. So new moon energy is actually going to be in cancer. All right. And that's going to happen around the 17th or so. I'm going to see what else that they have for you. I'm feeling like some of you guys, yeah, there's some witchy vibes here. You know, some of you guys might be manifesting. Maybe this is something that you need to know. What I would suggest is just making sure that you are, I had the deck upside down, so that's my fault. The mother, mother ward. Yep. Black cohosh. That's for respect. That black cohosh is to get away negativity and to bring in respect. Okay, you see that bright, shiny star right there? That's it, because you are. This is respect who you are. Black cohosh. Yes. Mm, some of you all, this is a... Mm, some of this is like lineage. This is roots for some of you all. Look, and cotton. Oh, no, otilo. Add a liter of water. Something about the number eight. Okay, harnessing the number eight. So this is your money as well. Protect your money. That's what I'm hearing. The, using your intuition about the things that need to be said, how you choose to utilize these herbs. Do you see how she's collecting them here? This is going to be, and this is if you're using herbs for this. You guys know that there's some sort of deception. Make sure that when you step into your place of peace and power, you are not trying to emotionally take from someone else. Be mindful not to be vampiric. OK, if you are be choosing to be vampiric, especially to someone that is of the light, there's going to be a bad payback thing. Like I told you, payback is, is here. So please get paid in the sense of dharma, not karma. That's what I'm picking up on. All right. Um, I want to go over to the Vimeo Extended. I told you those blessings are coming in. All of those things you need, career, work, you know, life balance. But because you have this divine masculine energy here that sits in some sort of shady vibration, um, and I'm thinking to say it's like a one night stand thing. And there's a projection thing here too. There's a projection thing here. And they want to say something to you. Yeah, they want to hold on to you. I don't know what this person is waiting on. I don't know what this person is waiting on. They really kind of need to get to work and do what they're supposed to do. They need to say what they need to say. 
look, they have to come with that corrected offer. They do. And there's also this Queen of Swords. You have this here twice. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. So if there's someone here that has two different feminines that they're dealing with, that's what's getting ready to be exposed over in the Vimeo Extended link. I promise you that, okay? You also might have some sort of competition, but I listen to me. They know exactly who you are, and you probably already said something to them twice is what I'm going to say, possibly about player ways. Look, somebody wants to do what they want to do, do what you need to do. You're going to do what you need to do. That's just what I hear. Make sure you guys are checking out Friday Night Love Tarot. I promise you it's going to be good. It's going to flow with all of this vibration right through here. Make sure that you guys check into the Etsy shop as well for any spiritual supplies that you may need. Um, they change from time to time. There's also information on how to contact me for phone readings or you can contact me for those pre-recorded uh, consultations too and remediation. Some of you guys, especially if you go through the new moon and you're creating something new, I want you to make sure that there's there's no sort of shyster energy that's getting in your way or you're not, you know, being um you're you're not taking on a bad vibration and then trying to manifest something from a place of fear because a divine masculine in the reverse is someone who tries to control something using the the uh, by horrible reputation you know, trying to take control of somebody, you know, especially if you are the light, you know what I mean? And you have this fame, you have this abundance about you, Sagittarius. There's somebody here that would want to say or slander or do something against that. Okay. So listen, somebody, I am, I'm going to say this too. I know I keep trying to get out of here, but somebody also needs to be very, very wary because there's a, not wary, be on the safe side. There's a masculine here that I'm just picking up on that would want to try to harm your peace and abundance, right? Mm -mm. The only thing that you are going to be keeping around you is healthy people. That's just what I see. <laughs> Vimeo extended link below. This is for you guys. Peace and elbow grease.